Sure, and I think that is a critique that is um, wanting. Facebook censors DailyMail.com story on BLM co-founder's multi-million dollar LA property empire. Welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm your host Dum Dum. If you're new to the channel, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leaving your comments below. Dum 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 Dum, what is Facebook censoring and why? Recently, this article came out says Marxist Black Lives Matter co-founder defends her property empire and says she didn't use BLM funds to buy the four homes before breaking down in tears after revealing she has spent the last week with security. So this woman, Patrice, she decided to go out and buy a bunch of property worth over $1.4 million. And people started asking her if she was using the money from BLM funds. They were also critiquing her because she is supposed to be a trained Marxist. For those of you who don't know, this is what Marxism means. The political, economic, and social theories of Karl Marx, including the belief that the struggle between social classes is a major force in history and that there should eventually be a society in which there are no classes, which essentially means that everyone should be equal. But let's give her the benefit of the doubt and let's listen in while she explains herself. Remember, links to all the articles are gonna be in the description. Though from the left, that would say, um, if you are a trained Marxist, if we're talking about a certain kind of radical politic, that extravagant homes of any sort or multiple properties of any sort is itself contradictory to the ideology that you hold. So it's not about having money per se, but that it's about uh, or about property per se, but it's about there being a potential contradiction between your express politics and your lived practice. Sure, and I think that is a critique that is um, wanting. And I say that because um, the, the, the way that I live my life is in direct support to Black people, including my Black family members, uh, first and foremost. And uh, for so many Black folks who are able to invest um, in themselves and their community, they choose to invest in their family. And that's what I've chosen to do. And the original article further says, users that wanted to share links to dailymail.com were met with a message that said it couldn't be shared. The same article in Black Enterprise was allowed to be shared by Facebook users. Black Enterprise and dailymail.com both cited the New York Post in their stories. Twitter recently suspended sports writer Jason Whitlock for sharing the story. The story noted that Patrice Cullors, 37, had spent $1.4 million on Los Angeles property. Well, everyone, here you have big tech trying to censor a specific organization and the message. And what I would say is you gotta pay extra attention when they start trying to censor specific messages because there's probably some truth in there and it probably goes against their narrative and that's why they're censoring it. Again, that's my opinion. What are yours? Leave them in the comments below. For the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm Dum Dum.